Hey guys, and welcome back to another more with Moro's video. Today's video is going to be another huge Walmart haul. This is about, I would say, almost $300 in groceries. I know you guys are always curious about how much we spend on groceries, and I actually got a lot of comments on my last grocery haul about why we don't shop at Costco or Sam's Club. By the way, the kids are all at home right now, so you guys are probably gonna hear some kids in the background, some iPads in the background. But I got a lot of questions about that, and so we do have a Sam's membership. I just didn't renew it, so that is on me. I need to go and renew it, because I don't think it automatically renews. I probably need to check into that. I didn't know the year was up. I think I have to pay it, so that's in the works. So for the meantime, because you know everybody's feeling the prices of groceries going up, I know you guys feel it, I feel it. So I have recently started to shop at Walmart for a majority of our groceries and household items. Sometimes I'll go to Target because I feel like Target is right there with Walmart prices as well, but Walmart's closer to us, it's easier, hence why this is a Walmart haul. All right, but I'm gonna save you guys the long intro. Let's just go ahead and get right into this haul. So I did it a little bit differently as far as setting out the foods, except for these two items. They don't go there. I'm gonna move them because a lot of you guys are always curious about our dinner meals and you guys I actually struggle today with trying to find different meals and I hate meal planning I'm just gonna be completely honest with you guys. I don't look forward to it It's like that one thing for me that I just do not like doing so I actually asked you guys and I got some inspiration from you guys on my Instagram I checked Pinterest. So this is what we're going with. I have my dinner meals right here So hopefully I can give you guys some ideas as well And I'll be leaving some recipes down below but the first dinner meal for this week is chicken sweet potato soup I've actually made this one other time and we loved it So we are going to make it again So for this recipe and again, I'll leave the links down below for you guys So in case you guys want to make it with me as well Everything will be in the description. Also ignore our dirty sink right now. Like I said, the kids are home, so we just threw all their lunch stuff in there. But you are going to need chicken broth, and actually some of this is going to be for a different recipe, but I just have both of them right here. Two sweet potatoes, some boneless, skinless chicken breast, and some chili mix, chili packet mix, a can of black beans, and then also a can of fire roasted diced tomatoes cilantro for topping and also some avocados which these are not ripe yet so I'm probably going to wait a couple days until we have this meal and then the second meal was actually Frank's request and that's Mississippi pot roast if you guys have not tried Mississippi pot roast I definitely recommend it it is so good especially in the fall so I have a chuck roast I think this one this one looks pretty big I think it's almost two and a half pounds I already have a lot of the other ingredients to go with it but I did need some potatoes to make some mashed potatoes so we got some baby dutch yellow potatoes some green beans as a side and then i needed to get some brown gravy mix actually this recipe is really easy you don't even need that many more ingredients i already have the butter the pepperoncinis and then also the ranch seasoning mix and that's all that you'll need besides what i have here third meal for this week is actually going to be crock pot chicken and dumplings so i got some chicken breast tenderloin i was actually trying to get another pack of the chicken breast um, that was smaller than this one, but they were out of it. So I think that's why they substitute it with the tenderloins and then some peas and carrots, just a frozen bag of those, one white onion, and then a can of cream of celery, and then also a can of cream of chicken, and then also a can of biscuits. I just got the Pillsbury Grands flaky layers comes with eight in those and that is everything and then also the chicken stock or broth will go with that as well and then the fourth meal which is what I think we're having tonight is tacos so I got some flour tortillas and we really love using these stand and stuff taco shells and also a romaine salad mix I originally just wanted just the leafy parts of the salad or the romaine but I think they were out and had to substitute it with this one because I was going to make myself a taco salad though so not exactly what I wanted but I'll make it work we'll still make some taco salad with that and then two pounds of ground beef and some salsa I usually make my own pico de gallo but I am just not feeling on making it tonight so we're going to give this brand a try it looks really good it looks pretty fresh so I'll see if we'll like it or not, but that is everything for the dinner meals for this week. Now getting to some of the things that I need to stock up on. We needed to get some more Cheez-Its for the kids' snacks. I got a family size box of those, as well as a family pack of fruit snacks. 
two boxes of mac and cheese as well as two boxes of the stony Phil organic kids pouches the yogurt pouches in the strawberry and banana flavor you guys will see a trend here i got two almost two packs of everything but two packs of apple juice this is just the minute made brand some strawberries blackberries and raspberries as well as some bananas and then also some mandarin oranges if you guys know nolan he hates fruit he'll actually only eat bananas and watermelon and also mandarin oranges that is it that's the only three fruits that he will eat so i usually get this for his lunches some blueberry bagels for harlow you guys know harlow loves her bagels she was very disappointed this morning when she woke up and realized I had not gone grocery shopping yet and we did not have bagels. So she'll be happy in the morning to have one of those. And then some sandwich bread. We really like the Sarah Lee. It's their white bread made with whole grain. Some muffins. The kids really love these big muffins. This is an easy go-to breakfast for us when we are in a rush. We can just take one out. The kids can have a breakfast. Some pepperoni, baby bell, mini cheeses as well as some Colby Jack cheese sticks. They were out of the mozzarella, so I'm gonna see if the kids will like the Colby Jack ones. And then Ari and I really like this garden vegetable cream cheese. I actually really like these with these Crunch Master crackers. I like to just snack on those, but Aria also likes to put some in her lunch with some crackers as well. And then two boxes of the Simply Go-Gurt squeezies. Kids really love these as well, especially in the morning and also for their lunches. And I think I didn't realize that when I got the value pack, there were 16 tubes because I could have gotten away with just getting one for now. So now we have 32 tubes of yogurt. I know these aren't the healthiest, but the kids really like to have Pop-Tarts in the morning as well. I remember this was like a breakfast staple for me. I love these and then also the brown sugar cinnamon. I think that's what it's called. Um, but they really like the frosted blueberry and frosted strawberry. So they'll occasionally have these for breakfast. And then I forgot to show you guys, I got some lightly salted rice cakes. I love to have this with peanut butter and banana. And then also I'll even do like an avocado toast with these as well. I also got some more applesauce pouches. This is the variety pack. So there's 10 apple apple, five apple strawberry, and then five apple banana. And also some of these mac and cheese individual cups aria always requests me to get these for her lunches she'll put it in her thermos like she'll make it in the morning put it in the microwave and then put it in her thermos for lunch so i got her those uh, we ran out of Ritz crackers for the kids lunches so i got a box of the hint of salt a gallon of milk for pechi and then I also needed to get some household stuff, so I got some more laundry pods. Some of the kids have not been feeling well. They've been having a cough, so I got some Highlands Naturals, the kids' cold and cough daytime uh, syrup. So it says that it's for congestion, runny nose, sore throat, cough, and post-nasal drip for 2 to 12 years old. Hold on, the camera is not wanting to focus. There we go. For 2 to 12 years old, so all of the kids can take this. And I also needed some more dishwasher pods i always get the cascade platinum i really like these i feel like out of all the different dishwasher pods that i've used this one is my favorite and then we needed some saran wrap so i got some cling and seal parchment paper and also gallon size ziploc bags i also needed to get some more all-purpose spray so i really like the great value blue lavender i like the smell of this one i'll use it basically on everything i'll use it on the counters i'll use it on the table to wipe down pretty much anything and everything so i got two bottles two bottles of that and then i also got some granite spray i feel like i go back and forth with different granite spray brands but i really like the weeman brand i also needed some more dish soap so i got some dawn some more Clorox wipes. I use this also to wipe down all of the kids' lunch boxes, so I already went ahead and did that. I've been trying to keep things as disinfected as possible, especially since we are starting to enter that sixth season. I feel like it's already started. The kids are already bringing all kinds of germs home. So I got that just to try to keep it at bay a little bit. We needed some more Drano, so I got the Drano Max Gel, and then we also ran out of the Bona Hardwood Floor Cleaner. This is my favorite brand to use for our wood floors. It says it's safe for wood, residue free, and dries fast. And I actually think that is everything for 
this grocery haul. I am gonna go ahead and start putting everything away. Let me know if you guys would like to see a recipe for... Bye, guys. Bye. Goodbye. So that is going to be it for this grocery haul. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. If you guys did, please give it a thumbs up. Let me know if you guys would love to see more, if these are helpful, if you guys find them helpful. And I will see you guys in our next video. Bye guys. Bye.